Making a Grand Prix race in Las Vegas is a big and exciting project. This city, known for fun and shows, is now turning into a place for fast car racing. It's a big job to change a city into a racetrack for very fast cars, and they did it in just a bit over one year. Racing in a city is not simple. Each city is different with its own streets and buildings. The people who make the racetrack have to think about safety and make sure there is enough space for the cars to race safely. Sometimes they plan a track but have to change it because of buildings or other things in the way. For example, in Monaco, they are very good at setting up a race in the city. They use special parts that they put up before the race and then take down quickly after. But doing this in other cities can be harder. Las Vegas had a Grand Prix race before, a long time ago in 1981. But it had problems because the city leaders didn't support it much and people were worried about safety with race cars on city roads. That race was in a parking lot. This new race in Las Vegas is more than just fast cars and excitement. It's a huge task to build a racetrack in a busy city, but it's an exciting match. The best car racing in one of the most famous cities in the world. Making a Formula One racetrack in Las Vegas is a big and new project. Long ago, there was a race at the Caesars Palace Hotel, but it didn't last because it was too hot and the track was not exciting. But now, Las Vegas gets another chance to have a Formula One race. This time, they are making a much better track. They looked at 31 different designs before choosing the final one. The track has 17 turns and is made to be exciting and show the best parts of Las Vegas. It goes along the famous Las Vegas Boulevard, where everyone can see it. The track is fast, safe for the cars, and good for racing. The racetrack goes past the new MSG Sphere, a big landmark, and then along the Strip, where all the famous casinos are. The cars will race very fast here, almost two kilometers long. Then the track turns left and goes back to the start. They announced this race in March 2022 and had only 20 months to get everything ready. They bought a big piece of land near the Strip to build the race area. This includes a big paddock, which is the main area for the race teams. It's the biggest one in all of Formula One, very long and wide, with a big F1 logo that lights up. There are 13 garages for the teams, plus places for people to watch and enjoy the race. They started building in November 2022 and had only 11 months to finish everything. It's a big and fast construction project to make a new and exciting racetrack in Las Vegas. Building the new Formula One racetrack in Las Vegas was a huge, quick job. They had to finish by October 2023. To avoid delays, they bought important parts like escalators and elevators before finishing the building design. Instead of using steel beams, which take a long time to make, they used concrete and rebar to build faster. They split the building plan into two parts, each 150 meters long. Two teams started building from opposite ends and met in the middle. At the busiest time, 500 people worked 20 hours a day in two shifts. After the building was done, they had to add special equipment. Most Formula One tools need European power, so they put electrical transformers in the garages. In Formula One, being fast and precise is important. This is true for building projects too. Las Vegas, a city known for construction, also uses digital tools for building projects. They use Bluebeam software for planning. It lets people work together online, makes reviewing plans easier, and saves time and money. With Bluebeam, Las Vegas cut their review process in half and saves $600,000 a year in printing costs. For the racetrack, they needed a special surface so the cars could race well. Las Vegas worked hard and used smart tools to make this big project happen fast and well. Making the roads in Las Vegas ready for Formula One racing was a big job. Formula One cars are very expensive, around $20 million each, and they are very low to the ground. This means the drivers can feel every bump on the road. So, it's important to have a smooth and even road with good grip for the cars to race fast and safely. To do this, they spent $80 million to fix the roads in Las Vegas. They took away up to 25 centimeters of the old road and put down four new layers. This made the road very flat, with only three millimeters of difference over every four meters. But Formula One isn't the only big event in Las Vegas. The city has many hotels, casinos, and restaurants. They can't close the roads for too long. 
so the Grand Prix can only close the roads for seven hours at a time. After each racing session, they open the roads again so people can go to the casinos and restaurants. Then, they close the roads again quickly for the next day's racing. This makes the Las Vegas Grand Prix unique. They have to keep the roads ready for racing and also let people use them in between sessions. The Las Vegas Grand Prix is a new and exciting event for Formula One, a sport famous for its excitement and style. For Las Vegas, a city known for its bright lights and unique attractions, this race is as big and special as its famous White Lions and Blue Man Group shows. The most important thing for this race is safety and making sure people enjoy it. The organizers say that even if it's a normal race where nothing unusual happens, it's still very exciting for them. This is because it's their first time doing it in Las Vegas, and the first race is always special. The Las Vegas Grand Prix marks a thrilling addition to the world of Formula One, which is renowned for its high-speed excitement and distinctive style. This event brings a new dimension to the already vibrant city of Las Vegas, known for its dazzling neon lights and unique entertainment offerings. The introduction of this Grand Prix to Las Vegas situates it among the city's iconic attractions, paralleling the fame and allure of its renowned White Lions and the mesmerizing performances of the Blue Man Group. This race isn't just about the high-speed action and the roar of engines. Paramount to its success is the focus on safety and ensuring a memorable experience for spectators. The organizers emphasize that while the essence of the race remains true to the spirit of Formula One, the priority lies in conducting a safe event that resonates with the audience's expectations of thrill and enjoyment. The inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix holds a particular significance for both the organizers and the fans. For the team behind this grand event, it represents a culmination of meticulous planning and dedication, making even a normal race without extraordinary happenings a matter of pride and excitement. This sentiment is echoed by the racing community and enthusiasts, as the first race in a new location always holds an air of anticipation and novelty. The excitement surrounding the Las Vegas Grand Prix extends beyond the racing track. It signifies a fusion of world-class motorsport with the unique flair of Las Vegas, promising an experience that blends high-octane racing with the city's legendary entertainment scene. This event is poised to become a staple in the F1 calendar, not just for the adrenaline pumping action, but for the unique atmosphere that only Las Vegas can offer. As we conclude our exciting video on the electrifying world of the Las Vegas Grand Prix, we invite you to stay connected with us for more thrilling content. If you've enjoyed this video and are eager for more insights into the world of mega projects, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Your likes and shares greatly support our channel and help us bring you more of the content you love. We're always keen to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below with your views or suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.